the brainstorming session churned up some significant recommendations and suggestions which were shared earlier today i now call upon chairman and tag major general lk gupta to please present his concluding remarks so <clears throat> respected honorable minister of state for external affairs and parliamentary affairs shri murli dharan ji a member of intac from trivandrum chapter shri sanjeev sanyal ji a member of intac uh, from gurgaon chapter dear conveners invited guests ladies and gentlemen at the outset let me thank you for taking your time off and attending this interaction since 10th of september as you all know intac is a learning society constantly taking feedback for decision making needing to ensure that a culture of excellence takes deep root in our institution in general and that intac becomes a knowledge center not on the heritage of india but also as to how to upkeep this heritage and we have now acquired the world class uh, techniques and methods to conserve our heritage as would be seen in the projects around the country the projects that we are doing in nepal and uh, the help that we have rendered in cambodia in uh, conserving their natural heritage these are all examples the examples of how we are uh, taking steps to conserve our own heritage ourselves without looking towards the government in which you have played a great role to conserve the heritage like for example we have just now done the charan padika temple in ayodhya again by the efforts of intac and our intac chapter holika temple on old vishnu devi route in jammu and kashmir mahat mahamaya temple conservation is wall paintings in banaras i can go on with the examples that you have done and i will end with the 11th century vishnu statue lying in a neglected state in the badamgarh sanctuary which we have done again as our own efforts citizens efforts to conserve our own heritage and that's the message that through our members we are giving to the civil society that we as citizens have to conserve our heritage and we don't have to look up for everything to the government as to we as citizens what we are doing for conservation of heritage that's what intac is all about and uh, we will continue our efforts in that direction <clears throat> so i just want to repeat to say that we are a learning society constantly constantly taking feedback for decision making and need you to ensure that a culture of excellence takes deep root in our institution in general our mission is to create an awareness of our multidimensional and most diverse heritage in the world as also to possess the world class knowledge for its conservation and uh, as i just gave examples we are doing that a mission in which we have made and taken spectacular strides and emerged as a knowledge center with very wide ranging interaction and exchanges in order to have a successful interaction and exchange it is important to keep in mind that it involves give and take i therefore leave it to you the conveners the members of intac to judge what is in the best interest to develop the sort power of this mega diverse land in the world uh, and same diversity mega diversity is there in all of your chapters in all of your uh, uh, areas of responsibility as to how we conserve this heritage and in the presentations it has come about uh, which we have seen through the days that uh, we need to know what is the diversity 
of heritage in our own chapters, in our own districts, in our own home. Because that diversity which is there in our heritage in every home is nowhere in the world except which is there in our land, in our homes. We need to recognize this local diversity of our chapters and working. Um, we have also realized the need for awareness on protecting our biodiversity because everything, our heritage, emerges from this biodiversity in this land. And we have realized as to how, uh, with the, in the sessions, how we can further conserve and look after our biodiversity while meeting the developmental aids as to how we can preserve our biodiversity, which is very essential. Our water, our land, our air, we need to conserve and preserve this. Uh, we are also looking at as to how the culture can be liberated from the control of the government. Because most of our culture is lying under the control of the government and that control was brought by the colonial power. And we need to get into a dialogue as to how the civil society and the government can collaborate in this liberation of the culture like the way the business has been liberated from the control of the government and how the business has taken off in this country. If our culture has to go forward, this control of the government working with the civil society has to come. And our uh, roughly 10,000 uh, uh, 10, sites which are controlled by the st state archaeology and the ASI, how we can rework their management so that they will bring an enormous uh, history to uh, the forefront of our people. All that history and uh, the heritage is lying buried in them. And uh, so we need to look at that. That's a great uh, uh, step that intact and the government can take forward and our society can come forward and do it. We need to, again, realize the truth of our history. So that, therefore, we are now promoting the coin heritage of India and the stamp heritage of India. Through that, we are bringing the history of India to the people. Another dimension of our heritage is the geological heritage of India, which has been lying neglected, uh, ignored by the geology departments uh, in the colleges, uh, geology uh, depart from the government of India, state governments. But we, uh, intact is now celebrating 6th October as the Geological Heritage Day along with UNESCO and our chapters are taking forward. So these are some of the initiatives that intact is taking in that direction. And we have noted, uh, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, uh, your suggestions, your suggestions, Sri Sanyalji, and uh, we will uh, do our best in that regard. Our resources are limited, but within our resources, because uh, all our members are selfless workers. So, with that selflessness, work of one rupee which is being uh, done is, is in few pesos. So, that is a kind of uh, 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 with our limited resources, impact that we are trying to make on the heritage of India. And once again, I wish to thank you, sir, Sanjeev ji, for coming and giving this, uh, your words of wisdom. And I'm sure that all of us together will take those uh, forward. And uh, I also wish to uh, thank all my conveners and our mem uh, members, ladies and gentlemen who have come across the country, uh, spending uh, their valuable time here. And I wish you a safe journey back home and what are the learning and messages or any points that you have please write back on your suggestions because we have as i said that we are a learning society and we will take back all the suggestions and see how we can improve and go forward once again thank you very much and wishing you all the best thank you thank you sir